Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this is a, a mid-chapter six checkpoint to get us a little ahead of the curve um, uh, and review what the first uh, few sections we've been doing. I think it's been five sections. So here, let's choose the best term from the box to complete the sentence. Okay, so we're going to choose from over here. Uh, let's see, there's divide, divisor, dividend, and quotient. These all are dealing with uh, division or dividing right here. So, let's do number one here, you guys. So, it says, uh, you blank when you separate into equal groups. Okay, when we're separated into equal groups, we divide. So, the first one is divide right there, okay? And then this one right here, when you have an equation, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. This first one is called the dividend, you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and put dividend right here. And then this 5 is the number that is dividing into this. It's called the divisor right here. Okay, which leaves us with the quotient. The quotient is always the answer right here. Okay, I can remember divisor. Divisor good, uh, divides into that, and this is the quotient right here. This one's the the one for that I struggle with on that, but it's called dividend right there. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to use counters with circles of equal groups to complete the table. So here we go. We have these counters here. So let's go ahead and do number one. We have six counters with two equal groups. So here's six counters with two equal groups. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start placing uh, a counter in here, a counter in here, one at a time as we keep doing it. So now both those circles have uh, one counter. Let's go ahead and put another one in here and then another one in here. So now they both have two counters right here. Let's go ahead and place one there and place one there. And so we have... Um, uh, all our counters are taken up, so the number in each group looks like there's three in there, there's three in there, so there's three counters in each of those groups right there. Okay, so number two says we have 30 counters. There's 30 counters. I counted those up, you guys. Those are 30 of them. And let's see, we don't know how many equal groups, but we do know that there's five in equal groups. So what, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and circle a group of five right here. So if I circle a group of five, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, there's five right there. So if I circled those five and continued circling uh, five more counters, I'll do one more, you guys. I'll do this one in purple. So if I, if I circled this next group of five counters, so there's three, four, five, okay? And just keep doing that, and it looks like I can get one more on the top row and then three more on the bottom row and it should look like that right there okay so there how many groups are there there's six uh, equal groups right there okay this next one says we have 28 counters with seven equal groups so I'm gonna go there's 28 counters with seven equal groups right there and then you just gotta be patient with me uh, we're just gonna start placing one counter in each of the equal groups uh, until we get all the counters taken up. Okay, so one counter. I got to be careful. Sometimes I want to put more than one until um, without making sure everybody has one. So okay, now each um, each of these groups has one counter. So let's continue. Let's go put go ahead and put two right there. There's two in that one. Okay, two in that one and that one. Oops, I'll take that one there. Whoops, too many. Sorry. One more patient, and I'm going to keep going. Okay, so when I keep doing that, you guys, let me do this one right here. So I've taken that whole top row, or uh, each of them has two of them in there, and that was half of the 28 counters. So if I put the rest of these in there, it's going to give us two more on each one of them right there. So it should look something like that right there. So how many of them are in each group right there? Well, it looks like all of them have four equal counters in it, so, so it would be four. Now, check this out. This would mean 28 divided by 7 equals 4, or 30 divided by 6 equals 5. This one would have the equation 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Okay, so these are all division equations right here. All right, let's write a division equation for this picture. Okay, so first let's go ahead and count the number or the counters up. This one I see one counter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one looks like there are eight counters, and we're dividing it by by uh, four in each group right there. So eight divided by four gives us how many groups do we see right there? We see two groups. So 
Uh, how about this? 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Okay, let's go ahead and count the counters over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this one's going to be 15. And then each group, it looks like each group has 5. So 15 divided by 5. And then how many groups do we have? We have 3 equal groups. So this would be 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Okay, then we did something like this. This one says write a division equation. Do you remember when we subtracted and we kept subtracting that number until we got to 0? Here 36 minus 9 is 27. And then we picked up with the 27 and subtracted 9 again and got 18. Picked up with the 18 and subtracted 9 again and we got 9. And then finally 9 minus 9 is 0. So we started with this number and we're subtracting this number. How many times did we subtract this number till we got to zero right here? We subtracted it once, twice, three times, four times. So this would be 36 divided by 9 equals 4. Okay, that's another way. So we had a, a lesson that was called subtraction and division or something like that. I forgot. Okay, and then this one here. This was another subtraction one. We start with 21. And it looks like we're jumping by jumps of 3. So jumps of 3. So there's another jump of three. How many jumps of three did we get? So it looks like one jump, two jump, three, four, five, six, seven, till we got to zero right there. So this would be 21 divided by, how big was your jump? It was three. So 21 divided by three equals seven right there, okay? All right, so let's try some problems here. Stephen has 14 cookies that he plans to give to friends. If he gives two cookies to each friend, how many friends will he give cookies to? Okay, so uh, I, I'm going to go do the number line again, you guys. So we start at 14 cookies right there. And if we just keep subtracting this amount, 2 every time, so we're going to do jumps of 2 till we get to 0. There's one jump of 2. took us to 12. There's another jump of 2. It took us to 10. There's another jump of 2. So, so far, there's 1, 2, 3 jumps of 2, and we're at 8. We'll just keep going. So, there's another jump of 2. There's another jump of 2. One more, one more. So, it looks like 7 jumps. So, uh, so he's going to have 7 friends. He's going to give 2 cookies, 2 apiece. Okay, Tara has 30 flowers. She gives uh, the same number of flowers to each of 5 friends. Uh, which equation can be used to find the number of flowers uh, each friend receives? Okay, this whole chapter is dealing with division, you guys. And since we're doing it into equal groups, so she gives the same number of flowers to each of five friends, this will be a division problem. So it's not this one. This one's an addition problem. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's this one right here. 30 divided by 5 equals, you guys know what it is? What it equals? It equals 6. But they just want to know which equation which would be true. It would be that bottom one there, okay? Here's another one. Rick modeled the division equation with some counters. Which division equation matches the model? Okay, well, we first got to count the counters, you guys. So looks like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now all of these have divided by 2 right here. So whichever one is 14 divided by 2, okay, 14 divided by 2, we're dividing by, because uh, there's two equal groups right there, and each group has 7, so it looks like it's going to be choice A right there. Okay, that pop was my fire in the background. I have a fire. It's a cold December night tonight. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, Stanley bought uh, 24 pins. There were four pins in each pack. How many packs of pins did Stanley buy? Okay, now the only problem is I didn't draw this uh, so it was equally spaced, you guys. I wished I would have, but I ran out of time. So this one is a 24 divided by 4 question, you guys. 24 divided by 4 is what? So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the answer and I'll show you how I did it, you guys. The answer is 6 because there are 6 4s that get us 24. And if we did 24 minus 4 is 20, and then 20 minus 4 is uh, 16. 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Finally, 4 minus 4 would get us 0. So if we subtracted it, there would be 6 equal 1s right there. Okay? All right, you guys. 
Take care.